The king has fallen and the people are storming the gates. The ministers are on the run. Okay, it might sound overreacted, but the king may have actually fallen. But we are talking about the Instagram king. Dan Bilzerian does not make headlines for the great news. Actually, his summer was worse than ours. Let's take a look and see how it's not looking good for Dan Bilzerian. Number 8. Who is Dan Bilzerian? The 39-year-old Dan Bilzerian is known as the king of Instagram. He's not just well-known, he is filthy rich and a famous socialite too. With $150 million in the bank account and 33 million followers on Instagram, it's easy to see why professional poker player Bilzerian, who was brought down by Liverpool, is considered the king of Instagram. As he says, luxury has been a bit of a roller coaster for him, and he would define it as something that is not needed, but improves your life. Well, we couldn't agree any less. He grew up initially poor and then rich and then back to poor when he was in the military in college. And then he made some money playing poker. If we're talking about his education, we know nothing at all. It is unclear if he actually graduated. But as he claims, he was enrolled at the University of Florida and studied there for four years, majoring in business and criminology. During his time in college, he was making $90,000 a week playing poker, which is more than a basic person's yearly income. He didn't have a careless childhood, in fact. As a child, Bilzerian didn't do well in school. He was also bullied because of his father's imprisonment and corruption. His father, Paul Bilzerian, was a rich private trader in the 1980s who owned a robotics company and several businesses. He was arrested for stock fraud when Dan was 10 years old. When Dan joined the military, a similar pattern continued when he got into a confrontational situations with his senior officers. They were prejudiced against him because of his father's stint in prison. Number 7. Health Problems Bilzerian struggles with serious heart problems, and not the fun, romantic kind either. While his lifestyle may look like a blast on social media, it has taken a severe toll on his health. He suffered his first heart attack when he was just 25, and several years later was on his third. In 2011, he was diagnosed as having a pulmonary embolism after his heart gave in when he flew between Maui and Las Vegas twice in three days to play a poker tournament. At the time, Bilzerian's PR rep said the heart condition came as a result of his body being overloaded due to his lifestyle. Five days of partying, snowboarding, gambling, crazy sex, sleep deprivation, consumption of cocaine, and the introduction of 200 milligrams of Viagra, well, that somehow explains it all. While this all might worry most people, it's nothing for him. He checked out of the hospital before doctors had even cleared him, and then tweeted asking his millions of followers to bet on whether or not he would die. Number 6. Strong Stomach for the Losses Bilzerian is heavily involved in the world of high-stakes poker. It's a realm in which he's done quite well for himself. The player who goes by the name of Blitz, or Instagram King, self-proclaimed to win $50 million playing the game in 2014 alone. In November of 2013, he posted an unconfirmed claim that he won $10.8 million from a single night of playing poker. But with big wins also come big losses, and it is said that he has lost $3.6 million in a single night too. As Dan explained, You gotta have a strong stomach for the losses. It's kind of an acquired taste. The losses always suck. Whether it's small money in college or big money now, it's never fun to lose. But he says that losing gets easier, and his trick for coping with a big loss is to kind of desensitize yourself to the money the longer you play. His other solution is cannabis. A lot of weed may help deal with a loss, he says. Number 5. Ignite Bilzerian's interest in cannabis is not limited to smoking, but is instead centered around his cannabis company, Ignite. Now, some are changing his unofficial title from the king of Instagram to the king of weed. He started Ignite in 2018, though his introduction to cannabis was much earlier. As he said, his first experience with cannabis was at 11 years old, using a tin can, and that was the first time he got high. Clearly, smoking cannabis was an experience that affected the social media star, as he stated his motivations behind starting Ignite. I have been smoking weed for over 27 years. Why not enter the cannabis world? Ignite was launched in true Bilzerian fashion with a massive launch party in his $100 million Bel Air mansion that hosted thousands of guests. 
The party served as a backdrop to exhibit some of the company's expansive product range including cannabis strains, vaporizer cartridges, concentrates, and CBD oils. Dan's goal is to get people to quit smoking and to use CBD. As we all know, Bilzerian is pretty famous for his beach photos with girls. The company Ignite uses the same marketing tactics that are indistinguishable from Bilzerian's own personal account. It's almost invariably involving women in bikinis, only this time with cannabis in the shot too. This has drawn the attention of both fans and critics alike, with critics suggesting that Bilzerian is bringing sexism to the cannabis industry. Number 4. Ignite Problems Some might think that an Instagram celebrity with a private jet, attractive women, and lots of money has nothing to worry about. But it's not in Bilzerian's case. For the CEO of Ignite, the pandemic summer of 2020 has presented challenges aplenty. And if the last month is any indication, the autumn may be worse. First came the news in July that the company was $50 million in the red financial hardship that forced the company to agree to end the lease on his LA mansion even as he was yachting around the Mediterranean. Last week, news broke that Canmart, a distribution company that moves Ignite branded products in Canada, where Bilzerian's firm is publicly traded, was ending its relationship with Ignite. The company lost $67 million in 2019. Ignite hosted lavish parties, threw events, and did all kinds of stuff a company flush with cash does. And the fancy models are expensive as hell. So unless Dan Bilzerian plans on selling $50 million worth of copies of his promised forthcoming book, losing a distribution is something Ignite may want to rectify sooner rather than later. Although the company has been successful in the past in obtaining financing, there is no assurance that it will be able to obtain adequate financing in the future or that such financing will be on terms that are acceptable to the company. Number 3. Running for a President? It was in June of 2015 that Bilzerian announced that he would be running for president in 2016. He dropped that desire very quickly just a few months later. Yep, you heard that right, that is not a joke. The hardcore playboy is in the race to become America's president as an independent candidate. Do you know what his campaign flyer looks like? It features him riding a tortoise, outfitted with a machine gun. Alright, let's be honest. The latest non-politician to possibly throw their hat into the ring to be president is Dan Bilzerian. The self-proclaimed king of Instagram wants to run for president of the United States in 2024. Do you think he will change his mind? Number 2. He Needs Our Help Dan Bilzerian, aka king of Instagram, needs our help. Is this the real statement? All right, let's see what's happening. He definitely knows how social media works, and he's got more to offer his followers than we do. Last week, the so-called king of Instagram and expert attention seeker announced that he has just finished his autobiography. Now, he is asking his millions of followers to come up with a title, and it's not only a friendly request. Actually, a $5,000 reward awaits the winning wordsmith. His fans love him for it. Want to hear some of the suggestions from his followers? Love your kids so they don't end up like me. The tale of Dan Bilzerian. Dan Bilzerian. I couldn't have done it without daddy's money. Dan Bilzerian. Perpetual midlife crisis. Well, it seems that even though his fans love him, they know him pretty well. Number one, he does not pay his credit card bills. The mansions, the yachts, the parties, and the models. All of these sound like a kind of luxury that wouldn't be cheap. According to a lawsuit, he doesn't pay for it at all. He rents his house and charges the rest of his six-figure lifestyle to a credit card that someone else pays off. His LA home is $200,000 a month, and Bilzerian doesn't pay this rent. Everything is charged to the corporate lab of Ignite. Well, that explains how Ignite managed to lose a reported $50 million last year, doesn't it? Pools, trampolines, personal events, models, yachts, these are all that have nothing to do with the business, but still, only the business is charged to pay. Well, that doesn't sound so great, Mr. Poker Player. Do you think Dan Bilzerian deserves to be called the king of Instagram? Let us know in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on your post notifications so you never miss a video from us. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. See you in the next video, and thank you for watching.